we have done from uh, we have done from one to ten. So do we need to revise it? I'm good. Okay. What about you, Sadia? I'm good. Okay. Then we have from eleven to twenty. For eleven, we have Giara. Giara. Then for twelve, we have Bara. Bara. Uh, for 13, we have Tera. Tera. Then we have 14, Choda. Choda. Then we have Pandra. Pandra. Sola. Sola. Satra. Satra. Uh, uh, informally, actually, the word is Satra. But you know, when we uh, a native speaker speaks a uh, little bit faster, they don't care about the grammar and the actual word. Uh, they used to say uh, Stara. Okay. But actually, actually, it's Satra in written. It will be Satra. And yeah. when you know native speaker speaks, so they just collapse all the things. So yeah. It happens with every language. So then yeah. we have Atara. Atara. Unnis. Unnis. Bees. Bees. Yara, Bara, Tera. Joda, Pandra, Sola, Stara, Atara, Unnis, Bees. Mm -hmm. So you can revise from 11 to 20. Jara, <coughs> Bara, Tera, Joda, Pandra, Sola, Satra, Atara, Unnis, Bees. Well then, what about you, Sadia? Jara, Bara, Tera, Joda, Pandra, Sotra, Sat. Sola. 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 Satra Atra Unis Peace. Okay. Then we have from 21 to 30. 21 is Ikis. Ikis. Then Bais. Bais. Thais. Thais. Jobis. Jobis. Pachis. Pachis, Chabis, Chabis, Stais, Tais, Atais, Atais, Unatis, or uh, it is Untis, but uh, like I am the speaker also, so we use it uh, Unatis, but untis. actual word is Untis. Untis, mm hmm. Then peace. Peace. So you can revise. Ikis, Pais, Thais, Tobis, Pachis, Chabis, Satais, Atais, Untais, Satais, Stais, Atais, Atais, Untis, Tis. Ikis, Thais, Thais, Chobis, Pachis, Chibis, Satis, Atis, Thais, and Atis, Atis, Untis, Tis. Good. I think it's easy for you. <laughs> yeah, I practice some uh, numbers on my own. Okay. So for uh, 31 it's ikatis <laughs> or we we also say ikatis ikatis batis batis tentis tentis jontis jontis pentis pentis chatis chatis santis santis Artis, Artis, Untalis, Untalis, Chalis, Chalis, and don't uh, miss Unnis, Unatis, and Untalis. They have little bit difference. Yeah. So you can revise. Uh, Ictis, Patis, Tentis, Tontis. Pantis, Tatis, 
Sentis, Artis, Untalis, Chalis. Good. Ikis, Patis, Katis, 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 Patis, Tentis, Tontis, Pentis, Chatis, Sentis, Artis, Untis, Chatalis, Untis means twenty nine. Yes, Chalis, Untalis, Chalis. Okay, that's good. So, do we need to revise again or? It's no. okay, we can practice this on our own, I think. Okay, so uh, first of all, what we have studied, we have studied about basic alphabets, then we have studied about the basic greetings, then we have studied about the common daily life sentences and a short introduction, and now we have covered uh, countings. Okay, so uh, okay, so we have some vocabulary. for fruits okay for apple we say it save save apricots mean khubani uh, you know uh, if you don't know because uh, might be you haven't seen some fruits which are in pakistan not in your city so you can ask me i will show you some uh, picture of that okay okay yeah Apricot mean khubani. Yeah, khubani. And uh, ananas. I uh, do you know it is a very, uh, uh, what I would say, uh, it's a type of word. Uh, even in, uh, there are more than, I have seen more than 20 languages. The word ananas means ananas. They also pronounce ananas. Yes, in my language too. Yeah, in English, uh, it's pineapple. And in uh, uh, Indonesian language, it's also ananas. Yeah, so... in Norwegian too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, please. Okay, so now we have ananas and uh, bahi means uh, queens. Do you know what is queens? I don't. Okay, uh, it's uh, somehow it's uh, in the category of apple and uh, uh, some apple and you know, uh, uh, there is uh, in Urdu it's nashpati. It's peer. Do you know peer? It's yes. in the last in uh, when you move from save to the last one. It's written Nashpati. It's peer. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, they have the same, uh, you can say, category apple, bahi, and uh, a peer. Okay. Apple queens and peer. Let me show it to you. Bahi. Uh -huh. This one is Bahi. It's similar to Apple. Yeah. It's like a mix between an apple and a pear. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the name of it is also suffragal. It is also called suffragal. Actually, uh, they made uh, some uh, some kind of you can say murabba. How to say murabba? Yeah. 
I'm one of you with Pega, I made him one of you, rather, you can make a Sadarwale speak to him. I was a true director of Murabba, not that Murabba. Yeah, it's quadrangular. Okay. So uh, it's mostly I have seen this in this scenario. Okay. There is also construction near my home. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, uh, Kobani. Can you listen my voice clearly? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, uh, Kobani for apricot, pineapple for or ananas, and quince bahi, and for banana we say kela. Kela, yeah. Uh, and uh, then we have ganna it's sugar cane you know sugar cane right yes okay ganna. it's ganna and uh, then uh, uh, lychee is same yeah and then we have lemon it's limu uh, it's limu. close to and the lemon is also one of those words which are similar in uh, about every language yeah Lemon. Lemon, yeah. And for almonds, we say badam. Badam. Then we have pistachio. It's pista. Pista. And uh, for guana, we have uh, amrud. Amrud. Uh, Sadi, I think you know all these words because you are living with. Uh, Urdu or in Hindi speaking family. So you will, I think, know about this. Maybe, but I have to revise it myself too. Okay. So for uh, Blackberry, it's Jamun. Jamun. And Walnuts, it's Akhrot. Akhrot. Mulberry, it's Shahtoot. Shahtoot. And for fig, we have injir. Injir. Injir is also same in Turkish. And mm -hmm. uh, lukart is same. Lukart. Lukart. For peach, we have ardu. Ardu. Then for uh, current, we have kishmish. Kishmish. It's kishmish. Kish mish. Kish mish. Yeah, right. For orange, we have uh, santra. Santra, or uh, we also use malta. Okay. It's santra. Santra or malta. It's malta. Okay. Okay. Then we have sorry. grapes. Grapes means angur. Angur. And then we have mango. Mango means arm. Um, yeah. And uh, uh, for arm, there is a similar word which, which is arm. Okay. This this one a mango means arm. And there is another word which is am for uh, mm -hmm. am. Am means common. Like if you say am log, log means people. Yeah. Am log means common people. So uh, when uh, students are going to make fun, they also use when they translate from or, uh, English to Urdu language. So they say mango, uh, Urdu to English, they say am log means mango people. Mango people, okay, yeah. <laughs> so then we have, uh, okay, you can't see the last line. Okay, then we have this one is Nashpati. Nashpati. Uh, let me move somehow to the side. Okay. Nashpati for peer. Mm -hmm. Nashpati. And for 
plum it's alucha 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 and i don't think so it's available in daily life market and then we have coconut it's nariel nariel okay do i need to uh, say again these or it's okay it's okay if you want to revise we can revise it too otherwise we will move to the next thing which are vegetables mm -hmm. okay so for vegetables we have let me move it so it will be clear when I okay first one is um, we have different name bitter gourd or bitter melon it's karela karela you know this one I do from uh, from when I studied Hindi. Okay. It, yeah. Okay. And then we have for chili, we have we use mirch. Mirch. Mm -hmm. Mirch. Then we have gajar, carrot, gajar. And we have mustard plant, we say sarso. And uh, in, so. in Pakistan and in India, we uh, use uh, oil of um, uh, mustard oil for our hairs and uh, some also cook food in mustard oil. So we say uh, sarson ka tel, I mean mustard oil. Mm -hmm. It is sarson ka Tail. tail means oil and uh, sarso means mustard and ka means that uh, this thing belongs to it like yeah. it is the oil yeah. of mustard right okay so then we have garlic lesson 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 and then we have uh, cabbage band gobi Band gobi. And for beans, we say phaliya. Phaliya. And for goat, we have ghia kadu. Or we, sim kadu. we simply say kadu. Kadu. Mm -hmm. Then we have ginger adrak. Adrak. Beet means chukandar. Chukandar. Then we have okra, it's bhindi, uh, you, you know okra? Uh, yes, I do. It's also lady finger. Yes, yeah. Okra bhindi. is bhindi. And then we have uh, dufa, it's ghiyatori. Ghiyatori. Then we have kokumbar, it's khira. Khira. Then we have Yes, it's matter. Matter. Mint means pudina. Pudina. And for no. coriander, it's dhania. Dhania. And yam means kachalu. Kachalu. And if you pronounce it slowly, it will be kacha alu. Because it will sound like kacha alu. Alu means oh, yeah. potato. And kacha yeah, means yeah. Uh, the thing which is not uh, uh, completely, you can say, uh, completely cooked. Not okay. completely cooked. So we say kacha. So uh, yam means kacha alu. Like okay. not completely cooked alu. <laughs> <laughs> then we have pumpkin, kadu. Kadu. Onion means piaz. Piaz. And then we have potato, it's aloo. Alu. Tomato, it's tomato. Tomato. And turnip, it's shaljam. Shaljam. And brinjal, it means bangan. 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 Mm, then we have radish means mooli. Mooli. Spinach means palak. Palak. Okay. 
so tomorrow i will have a quiz of these two things so you need to be uh, you need to practice both vegetables and fruits okay <laughs> Okay. I, I'm a mathematics teacher, so you have to deal with these things <laughs> because <laughs> mathematics teachers love homeworks and all stuff. Okay. <laughs> and after that, inshallah, we will learn, uh, we will start learning sentences that how can you yeah. uh, change your words according to sentence. If you have any question in today's lecture, you can ask. Yeah, no questions, but can you send this? Uh, yeah, I will send uh, these two pictures in uh, group. Yeah, so that we can practice. Mm -hmm. And, and, also the numbers, and you, yeah. you also have to read the numbers. Yeah. Okay, have a good day. All right.